the weekends, mm -hmm. instrument uh, that area. Okay. Oh, yes. uh, and we come in and, and it's getting really narrow, you know, as far as the area. Yeah. Um, you know. So what we can do is like when you turn in and come into the harbor, we can do this like one side here, open some others, but no I mean around allowed around the launch area. How's that? I mean sides are good. You have to have these people to enforce it, you know? Um, well we'll get Joe Perry involved. I mean I asked him to be present tonight. Okay, so I'm not pointing any fingers, but we'll just get more involved. Okay, now any other questions about? Can I respond? I'd just like to respond yes. to the uh, um, issue at the mouth. We tried sitting up there once, and we saw that problem, which is why we don't go there anymore, because we definitely saw that our presence there was creating too much of a problem at the mouth of the river. Now, there's, paddleboarding is growing. So what we have is really an education issue. It's getting much more popular. It's already very big on Oahu, very big in California, very big in other places. So I think the other thing is just signs. If we can get some kind of a community education thing going about paddleboarding, that would be great. That sounds like a good project for you. <laughs> okay. No, put and, some signs and say, look, we're going to have a meeting. Please join us so we can, you know, something we can all work together. And I, I, I'm already doing some of that within our tiny community, but okay. it's, it's how we reach out to the broader um, and is there opportunity within the DNR website to maybe link in to be able to provide some adboard information? Can we do something like that so that people can find it? I'll check on that one too. Okay. All right, any other? I will get back to you. Um, my email, ken, K E N, at pumastudios.com. Okay. Any other? Yes. I have a question for you. Okay. Any changes to administrative rules for the public hearing? I said for me, I'm a fisherman. Mm -hmm. I go to Waiwa to fish. Where am I going to park? You're going to park in the visitors. I'm sorry, you've got your boat, you're going to launch I'm not, it? I'm not launch, I'm fishing from shore. I will tell you this, there is no fishing in the harbor. But see, we don't have, we did not put up any signs. By what rule is that? It's in the rules. Okay. What rule? But I haven't put up any signs because I don't want to keep you from fishing in the market. So you can park in this little parking space. I'm about public hearing on that permit. What? No, you will not be able to. No, no, no. Because there's no public hearing on that permit. We don't need this. I have a very nice message. So did you force push up? I heard about two years ago, opposed the procedure of you folks changing the rules without public hearing. But we're not changing No, no, no. What's that? Are you forcing the to do that again? No, this has got nothing to do with that. This is anything to solve the problem. Change, anytime you do a change, you've got to get public hearing. I'll give you an example of tents. I challenge a tent rule mm -hmm. and say it's unconstitutional. But you are discriminating against people with medical conditions. Well, you know what? I'm really not here tonight. No, I understand. Okay, but I heard these people say that the tent was there. Right. How come nobody enforcing that? A tent rule was passed how many years ago. Okay, we talked about this. Today, well, with the stand-up paddlers. No, that was a long, long, long time okay. ago. Stand-up paddlers. You got rules for everybody who uses the harbor. Okay. Do you have rules for paddlers? Not yet. But let me ask you this. In fact, all of you. How long has it been? I don't think it's even been a year that you've had stand-up paddlers, is it? No. It's just recent. Do you have rules for jet skis? We do some. Some. Yeah. Are you folks coordinating with the county on how they're presenting the whole beachfront? I'm sure that the forces that be on Oahu, they do take all this. Yeah, I realize that. This is big guy. I don't have a boat. No, I realize. I told my friends, I have a boat. Okay. I'm going to throw off the pier and launch my boat. I'm going to boat. Yeah. I don't okay. use a ramp. I'm going to throw off the pier. But you folks, and I'm not blaming you, there's too many restrictions that are coming down that is uncalled for. I've seen it. I've, I've dealt with the federal government, the funding here, and everybody. Look at what's happening to our ocean. But what you need to do is that meeting from 6 to 8 and back to, excuse me, what time is it? It's 5.23. Was that published? 5.23. 5.23. Is be sure that you're here tonight from 6 to 8 and make sure that you want to testify. Okay. Okay? And they allow, I mean, for we have 25 people that want to testify in that so much, so much time. Mm -hmm. Okay? But please take that opportunity to do that because unless we hear from you, we're not going to know. I've been to many of your hearings. Okay. We've been outvoted, and this has been told by DLNR. Whatever you guys say in Hilo doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. No, wait, listen. Okay. Because 18, 20 of us testified, 4 out of 40. I'm officially sorry. Okay. 
out there that in Kona say that no fishing, the bag limit is too many parts per person per night, and they don't even fish. And their boat is outboarding us in Europe. But see, that's not the way it works. We look at it by harbor, okay? Yes. All right. So if you want to fish off the dock, you know, the, the way the rules read, unless it's posted by sign, you are allowed to fish, okay? okay. Kona, the same thing. And they cannot tell me that, no, we're not going to say, we're not going to allow Wailoa to do it because it's all by sign. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is by public input, mm -hmm. because we work with Big John on the fishing like a fishing area. Oh, we made okay. our opinions. Right. It's zero brothers. The opinions is outnumbered by the wild. I mean, why not? So we asked them, can you give us a demographic? Mm -hmm. Who is coming to the meeting? Not fishermen. Mm -hmm. People want it to be how it is. People want to protect the uh, people from taking the fish or aquarium. And they're all going there about two to one. So when we look at the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you're going to have this in corner. Federal borders also. I don't see them there. I do see them at Kailua here. You think future? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. <coughs> and like the gentleman just said, who's going to wait till something happens? Now I can tell this. I can go to an attorney and say, the other narcissist is going to knock on you off until something happens. Okay. Somebody gets killed. And my classmate says, he will get sued, but the state is going to get sued because they made the state. No, as long as the signs are up. No, no, no. Now. no there's no signs. No, but we're going to put the signs up. When I get back to the office tomorrow, money? I don't even know. Do we have any notes? We'll have to have a made because it's going to say no swimming allowed around the no, launch map. Fishing. Do you want me to put no fishing? No. Okay. But no I, will, I will put no swimming allowed around launch ramp because that way Dogear can enforce that. If the kids are swimming in there, now they have to find the parents. Who's going to get arrested? The parents. They're not going to get arrested. They're going to either be warned. Well, let's, if this hasn't happened, I'm you know, getting Dogger involved. What I would like to do is they issue a warning. Okay? Then if it keeps, if they do it again, then I'm so sorry you won't have decided. Okay? Now, we know that children can go across the way and they have plenty of places to swim, right? They don't need to swim. I don't want to. Is that, correct? that is correct. And let me just comment on this. Even though there's no sign there right now, or not clearly marked, I'm going to take it to our, our little community that, that does go there, and we'll make sure that everybody's been informed in our group oh, that, that we shouldn't be swimming at the boat ramp. I think that's perfectly reasonable, and we'll do that without signs. We don't want to get in your way. We don't want to create a safety issue. All right, Glenn, hold on just a second. Now, have I answered your yes. concerns? But will you make sure that you sign me out to testify? Okay, you will? Oh, <coughs> yeah. I didn't even know about the secret copy. Well, that's the big one. I came here tonight thinking because, you know, we haven't had Glenn here since February. And I know it might be a good idea, so you wouldn't think you're in order. Okay? All right, Glenn? Um, regarding this gentleman's concern about uh, holding a meeting regarding when you do parking, I'm pretty sure I have the email. Your, your boss, Ed Underwood, when he adopted the parking rules, especially for Alawai, but it also affected the entire state. And his promise was, Glenn, before we do any kind of parking rule changes, we will hold a public information meeting to discuss what exactly we're going to do it. And I put it in an email. You should have read that. You know what? A talk story is not a public information meeting. That's right. And I think you guys, you folks really should take a look at that. No. There was a promise from Ed Underwood, all right? And I think if he cannot hold up his promise, what for? I'm sorry, this has already been addressed, it's already been approved, and voters in Wailoa, you are going to have designated parking areas. It's allowable, it's within the law, and the visitors will have their parking. This, to me, will at least help take some of the pressure off the voters as well as the stand of paddlers. Okay, I'm not okay. finished. Go ahead. All right, so, it's Nancy Murphy's law, that you're going to do it regardless, even though it was, it was stated by your administrator. And the other one is this. 